By what can only be described as a complete technicality, I am a Linux user. This thing runs Arch Linux through SteamOS 3.0, so um, by that means I am a Linux user. However, outside of this, I've been on and off Linux for a pretty long time. My Omen gaming laptop used to have Linux for a bit. I actually had a bad side on my main desktop for a solid amount of time um, until I wanted to start playing Fortnite again. Me being a Linux user just because I have a Steam Deck, that can be debated. What is absolutely undeniable is that this is a MacBook. You cannot say yes or no to that. This just is. This has been a project for a pretty long time. It's called Asahi Linux, and essentially what it aims to do is put Linux on Apple Silicon Macs. Now, I've wanted to try this for a bit. Um, I haven't been able to, not because you have to wipe macOS or anything. It does dual boot, but because before this MacBook here, I had this MacBook here. However, now that this isn't my main machine and I've got like basically nothing on it, um, I've decided that today I'm going to attack. How the f is there already a hundred gigs used? Dude, I downloaded Craft and One Password. I've decided that today I'm going to attempt to put Linux on here. Today's the day I'm putting Linux on this laptop. Now, last time I tried or I looked into this, it seemed to be a pretty complicated process. I'm not exactly sure what it is n now. Okay, so you put in a shell command and it looks like that's it. Oh, they have Fedora. Let's check the device support. Let's just kind of see. So it looks like we're mostly going to have it. We'll even have MagSafe, which is nice, which is actually really good because that is about to die. I'm going to use USB-C for now just because I don't know if MagSafe will work properly during the installation. I wasn't expecting Touch ID at all. Microphone's a bit of a miss, but um, you know what? We'll, we'll see how we go. So I think we just copy this. Oh, that is my full government name. Enter. Okay, it's downloading. Welcome to the Asahi Linux installer. This installer will guide you through the process of setting up Asahi Linux on your Mac. Make sure you're familiar with the documentation here. I probably should be. 79 pages. We'll figure it out as we go. So I'm going to resize an existing partition. Enter the new size for your existing partition. You can enter a size such as one gig, a fraction like 50% or the word minimum for the smallest allowable size. I'm going to leave 60% for Mac OS because I'm not really doing much on here anymore. It's pretty much just a writing machine. Can I just change it? Yeah, I'm just going to do I'll do 65%. I'm going to go 70% to Mac OS. Yes. Okay, and now we wait. Uh, while we do wait, I probably should have figured out how to turn on stabilization first because every time I bump my desk, my tie camera shakes. That's fun. I've got a coffee. I've got it in my... Minecraft mug. It says, um, you wear the Enderman. I remember very vividly there was like one of the mugs like on the shelf, kind of half sitting off the shelf. I went to grab that one and just smashed it. And now I'm here. Oh yeah, she's taking her time. I should probably talk about why I'm doing the overhead shot. So this is the same kind of setup I had in the Steam Deck uh, VR video. And I'm replicating that for no particular reason. Last time I had a desk with a shelf, but now I don't have that desk. Thanks Flexi Spot for this one. So I have my tripod with that phone there. Just kind of like leaning up back against them. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is taking a very a much longer time than I thought. And I probably would have done the whole partitioning part beforehand if I knew how long this was going to take. Okay, the time has disappeared. That can't be good. Learn how to find the right words. Okay. It's Apple intelligence. I prefer my own. I uh, uh, damn. May, may, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I was gonna be like, oh, I prefer to find my own words. Thank you. But I, I guess I can't. So maybe I do need ChatGPT to speak for me. F AI, unless I'm trying to learn something and I can't figure anything out. While we're here, I do kind of want to take. Oh my god, they have KDE. They got Wayland working on this. Enjoy high quality audio right out of the box. I just don't believe them. You know, have you ever tried to plug in a speaker to a Linux machine? Mac Studio, that's fun. Imagine buying a Mac Studio and you put f Linux on it. I'm gonna watch YouTube. Save your servers nut on a Raspberry Pi. What the f Jeff, incredible title. I added nut to my to-do list and carried on for a few weeks until just this week. This has been bouncing between five and three minutes for way too long. It just keeps going. And you know what? I'm starting to slightly regret this project. If this, if this isn't another video that does the f 500,000 views thing, I'm gonna lose it. I'm only in this for money. I don't care. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Guys, don't unsub. I'm not Mr. Beast. And then install the nut client on all your other servers. The nut client monitors the UPS through the- I can't take this mother here. What? Install the nut client? What? As soon as I like went to like start doing anything else, it finished. I guess that's good. I'm going to install an OS onto free space. See that option wasn't there. So I'm guessing. Oh yeah, there it is there. You can see the 73 gigs of free space. Ooh, we get to do Asahi. Uh, I'm dense. Yeah, that's the whole project. 
We get to do Fedora, is what I meant to say. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do Fedora with KDE. Enter a name for your OS. Um, 500k view machine. Oh boy, more downloads. I just got an ad for YouTube Premium. I, I have YouTube Premium. It just came up and it was like, oh, you can play videos in the background with YouTube Premium. Yeah, I know. Installed, and if you just install this package, nut, it will install nut client and nut server and some other U UPS monitoring. So I can nut on everything all at once. That's pretty sick. I'm gonna watch that later. You can see the little thingies. Once you have it installed, you can run sudo nut scanner dash u and it should scan all the OS. Mm, yes, yeah, sudo nut scanner. Something tells me that restarting for updates right this moment is probably a terrible idea. And part of me kind of wants to try it. Oh, I'm just going to close it. I'm going to close that before I click restart. And uh, actually, the, it, the computer would explode. We're going for a trip. I just, I just kind of got hungry. I'm gonna love hearing the audio of me eating from the microphone that is sitting quite literally on my throat. Okay, so we're finished putting all of the partitions onto the things. I believe it downloaded Mozilla. I would love to report my information. Thank you, Asahi Linux. To be able to boot your new OS, you will need to complete one more step. Please read the following instructions carefully. Failure to do so will leave your new installation in an unbootable state. That sounds like good content, but I am going to read this for the sake of like actually doing it. When the system shuts down, wait 25 seconds for the system to fully shut down. Press and hold down the power button to power on the system. Wait until you see loading startup options. Oh, I've done this before. I'm going to take a photo of that because I probably will f*** it up if I don't. What? I'm going to put that like right there. So it's impossible for me to forget. Okay, press enter to shut down. Enter. Oh, yeah, no, it shut down. <laughs> I was expecting like the proper, you know, shutdown screen, but no. One, two, three, 10, 11, 12, 21, 22, 25. Okay, press and hold down the power button to power on the system. Continue holding for startup options, loading startup options, so I can let go now. Oh, Fedora. You'll briefly see a Mac OS recovery dialogue. Ah, here we go. You'll see some messages advising you that you are changing the security level of your system. These changes apply only to your Asahi Linux install and are unnecessary to install a third-party OS. This utility is not meant for normal users or even sysadmins. It provides unobstructed damn. This tool should only be used to understand how the security of Apple Silicon Macs work. This is like a security researcher thing. I don't even know what it did. Because the installer just ran that command. That's crazy. Um, yes? I've set a custom boot object, whatever the f*** that is. Installation complete. Oh, look at that. Press enter to reboot. God, it really just likes just shutting down. What's this just actually what? Oh, well, okay then. No shot that just worked. Welcome to Fedora Sahi Linux setup. Okay, sure, yeah. Let's, let's just set it up, I guess. This is very, this is, I'm just setting up a Linux system. Interesting how it doesn't go under the notch. 500k view machine. Enter a password and set up. Oh, okay. That's just it? It's just done and it works. Since when is Linux that easy? And it's picking up the Wi-Fi. Trackpad works, it just works. What the f***? Yeah, sure, just f do everything, eh? Can I make it like use the whole screen up here? Because it's kind of annoying how it's not using the notch, I feel like. Oh, that's the only resolution. Okay. I think, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get my network sorted. So let's just do that, I guess. It's already doing stuff. Oh, yeah. Use that, I guess. Set up an encryption key. Wallet. Well, the... Interesting. Oh, and it crashed. Okay. I just did this. Even when Linux works, it's terrible. Oh, there is a camera app. No shot this worked. Um, kinda? I mean, it's struggling. I think I should, okay, considering it was that easy to like actually get in here and, you know, start using Linux, I think I need to like write a list of things. The first thing I'm going to do before I even do that is try and get OBS running so I can capture my screen. Does, will this drive just work? Yep, okay, sure. Incredible. That just works. Lovely. It might have hardware acceleration, I don't remember. Apple GPU drivers now in Asahi Linux. It even does the bounce. This is like actually usable. Screen capture, laptop screen, 
and it just works. Yeah, there's only software encoding. This screen capture is going to look like sh I'm sorry, guys. Let's minimize that. Let's think of things that I want to do. Uh, let's go... I'd say watch a YouTube video. But we've done that. Nintendo's long-awaited sequel to the Switch is right around the corner. Where let's attempt to play games. And I, I mean, like, through Steam, by the way. Let's try and edit a video. Let's, let's try and edit video. Not a video, just, like, something. I'm gonna sit down. Everyone say thank you, Flexi Spot, for this desk. I was thinking I would need, like, hours to film this video, but no, I'm, like, already at the fun part. I think playing games and editing video is, like, a good kind of baseline of what we should try to do. Actually, what I want to try to do now is, like, try a camera in, like, a good app. Video capture device. Turn on. Device. Device. Video capture device. FaceTime HD cap. Okay. Sure. Yep. Why not? Let's try and play some video games. So I'm thinking we do... Actually, no, let, let me get a cool wallpaper first. This website has some of the best wallpapers you will ever, ever ha see in your lifetime. And then the other half is just, just you, you get the idea. This is really cool, actually. I wonder if, okay, I'm gonna test this later. Sleep mode. Let me just try something from the Discover Store first, and then we're gonna try and play a Steam game. And we'll go, let's go with some classics. Let's go Super Tux Cart. What the f is Pingus? Must never putt. Oh, it's like Super Monkey Ball. Okay, yeah, let's get that. They have, like, space pinball on this store, I think. No! It might not be compiled for ARM. Let me just search pinball. We have Amelia pinball. Holy... Uh, yes, please. Super Tux Cart downloaded. I, I also would like to play some Minesweeper. Good game. Okay, Super Tux Cart. See, this is... Okay, okay. This sh hidden. Uh, yeah, you can steal my information. Let's go with an offline account. See, Microsoft, do you see how easy it is to allow people to make offline accounts? You can just have a button there. If Super Tux Car can do it, so can you. I mean, that's running. Holy bowling ball. This used to be the pinnacle of Linux gaming. I'm now exclusively a Super Tux Car channel. Hope you guys don't mind. Holy drift. That camera keeps turning off, and you know what? I'm actually not gonna try to turn it back on this time. That camera has my audio. My M4 Pro editing workstation has been destined to a life of recording audio while I play Super Tux Card. What's the battery looking like, actually? We're still at 30%. I'm gonna turn it to performance mode. I need my Super Tux Card to run as, as well as possible. Okay, never putt. Why have I seen this? Penalty. Fun game. Amelia Pinball. Holy sh**. How do you- Help, help, help. How do I- Why is it those? I mean, yeah, this is pinball. Okay, well, what the f*** am I even supposed to do there? Okay, so, yeah. Discover Store Games. Done. Steam time. Now, Steam isn't on the Discover Store, and Steam also doesn't have an ARM client. It would want us to use Box86, because that's kind of what lets you run x64 software on ARM. You need a 32-bit subsystem, so let's try Box64 instead. <coughs> okay. So there's this post with no replies. Box 64 on Asahi with experimental GPU. Okay, so how do you do it? What what is a 4K kernel? What is FX? I don't I don't think I'm built for this. I gotta be real. I want to run Steam. Um if you have another gaming setup, just stream it. Linux users, I'm telling you. Play games, stick to Mac OS. I'm oh, okay, we're not doing Steam games, guys. Edit video. Okay, let's try that. Now, there is DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna take a wild f guess and say that DaVinci Resolve does not support ARM Linux. The only officially supported way of running DaVinci Resolve on Linux is by using an NVIDIA GPU. So that's obviously not gonna work. Let's give KDN Live a try. I might actually have a project on this. Completed videos, 2025. 
Jia Hongshu Red Note video, Editor Files. Why is there an ass file? And what is internet speed like on this? Okay, I guess we're editing. So my network is about 300 megabit max, theoretical. So it's not getting that. Okay, so I definitely would be get, it's not network congestion, it's just this. You will lose 160 megabits of speed. So I have my editor open here. I'm gonna try and open like this project and just kind of see what happens. Why is it opening twice? Why is it opening twice? Looks like the main thing it can't find is like a few clips that were on a different drive and the fonts. Where's all my video? Oh, there it is. I turn on my location settings to general instead of precise stuff for that experience. It was trying to play 4K. It, 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 have had it performed better at 4K. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. That's in performance mode, so that's fine. I'm gonna stop this recording. Watching in. Okay. We're doing the content on Red Note. Some of the recipes I've been seeing look at. Okay, so you can't edit on this. Um, just stick to stick to macOS. We technically edited a video. I'm gonna start. Actually, I'm not gonna start this recording again because I'm gonna try sleep mode. Will it wake as quickly as macOS? Oh my god. I think KDE it just keeps getting bigger when you do this. Okay, what was I doing? Ah, I was making my windows jiggle. Where's my mic? It was down. Why was it there? Why the f was the mic? Dog. No wonder it was quiet because my mic was f on my lap. It's a lav mic. You don't do that. I'm so sorry. Okay, well now it's in the right spot. Now you can actually hear me. Can I make them wobblier? Holy sh! Oh f yeah. I'm I'm switching to Linux permanently. And I mean, I guess that's it. I mean, I put Linux on here and it just worked. I was kind of expecting that to take much longer. I mean, it would have been good to get Steam up and running on here. I think that's out of the scope of my knowledge and, and this video. But I mean, hey, now I have a Linux laptop. It should just chug me back into macOS. Ideally, this didn't completely brick my macOS install because that wouldn't be fun. Not that there's actually anything on here, but that is an extraordinarily seamless experience. I am genuinely impressed at how dead simple that was to get running how non-destructive it was, and the fact that it just worked that well. Obviously, it's not going to let you do the same things as Mac OS. You're not going to be editing videos or gaming. Not that you're doing much gaming on Mac OS anyway. You could easily, if you're using your Mac as like a writing machine, basically, if you're not doing many intense tasks on here, you could easily run Linux. You could easily run Linux as your daily driver and you would have no issues whatsoever. Congrats, Asahi. That was an incredible display. Oh, and you can just access, no, you can't, Never mind. That's the, only the macOS partition. I was hoping you'd be able to access the Linux files from inside macOS, but that's just too good. Let's go, let's, let's find a fun background. Ooh, get me an Apple Park, baby, let's go. And with that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this saga as I thought I would struggle and just completely knocked it out of the park installing macOS. No, installing Linux, Fedora Linux onto my M2 MacBook Air. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like the video, maybe even subscribe if you really like it. Um, you can follow me over on Instagram, Blue Sky, and everything else with the links on screen and in the description below. If you like this video, you might like the Steam Deck VR video I did a year ago. At some point, um, I tried to run VR on a Linux on a Steam Deck with Linux again. Well, I, I'm not going to spoil it further. Or you can click over here to check out whatever YouTube thinks you'll like. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.